Hey guys, it's Vinny. And this is Joe. Anyone who is doubting Master Roshi being a part of Team Universe 7 is doubting no more. The old man has shown his credibility and his resourcefulness and his skills as a martial arts elitist. And episode 105 was amazing to show this off. We get to see Master Roshi and and talking about the end of it, he takes out three people on one episode. Awesome. I don't know if we, have we seen anyone take out three fighters in one episode yet on their own with no help? Um, no, I don't believe on their own. No, not at all. Normally, whenever we see somebody getting taken out, it's normally like a team effort where at least like two or more of them are working together to just try to take out one or a few people. But Mas Roshi just really showing how he is the expert martial artist. Like he has been around, he was calm and cool the whole time through, and he just really showed that he is the hermit, the master of everybody in this, that he will teach you what it is to be a martial artist. I love the style of it too. It was kind of like this, uh, you know, it wasn't fast-paced, all the time, it was almost like watching Roshi at work. You know, it's like you got like a backstage pass to see the mindset of of this master thinking through, being methodical about who is he facing, what are their weaknesses, how is he going to take them out. And of course, I love the fact that he's thinking about his team the entire time as well. He's looking for fighters that he knows are going to be a problem for guys like Goku and Vegeta. And he's tr- he's thinking, I'm going to take those people out because maybe I won't be here the whole time. I think Roshi understands it. You know, he gets it. He's not going to be the last man standing, probably. I mean, we want him to be. We love him to be, of course, to be there towards the very end. But Roshi understands that. So is he crying about it? Is he upset about it? No. He's going to do something about it. And he's going to find those people and he is going to get them out of that platform and out of that tournament so that... Goku can have a better shot at winning. I love seeing that from Roshi. Yeah, Master Roshi definitely understands. He's not the strongest person, but he definitely has some special abilities to take people out. And he wants to find the people with special abilities that might, like Vin said, give Goku or Vegeta trouble because they have weird powers. They Their powers isn't really strength. It's their technique. And um, with Master Roshi... He knows that he has that evil containment wave where he can uh, take them out if they have that type of special ability that maybe Goku or Vegeta couldn't. Uh, Absolutely. And we're loving that about some of the fights that are going on. The fact that it's not just pure strength, you know, it's about these interesting abilities that if you can't take out the ability, if you can't cope with the ability, you're going to lose, even if you're more powerful. And that's why a guy like Roshi is so important. And the evil containment wave. What an amazing thing there. So we get to see him use that. And obviously there was like, you know, once he used it, I was thinking in my mind, I, I don't even think he could use that thing. You know, that's I don't I think that's against the rules and great uh, credit to the writers. They brought that up immediately as they should have. Yep. And they uh, they accounted for it. And then Zeno. Uh, right in with his character, you know, because Zeno is not, you know, he's not a god who is just stuck in his ways. You know, he can be swayed very easily and he stuck with his character and he decided, hey, you know what? I liked it. It looked nice. It was entertaining. That's okay. Uh, So he used the evil evil containment wave and that's one person gone. Yeah, and she had that like special power where she like hypnotized them or were projecting like things and i believe if you, uh, that was used correctly it could have taken out many people i'm just glad that master roshi actually noticed it beforehand and decided you know what i'm probably gonna have to go for her and now we know that it's likely roshi is gonna use this technique possibly again in a future episode now it takes a lot out of roshi and it's a it's a problem you know Ro- roshi is one of those guys where he will sacrifice himself yes. right so and he basically almost did on this episode but but just because he didn't do it on this episode don't think that that might not happen again he might end up going that far again but going too far the next time so um you know that might be a little bit of a foreshadowing as well for some future episodes but i'm i'm glad that he has this capability and this technique roshi there's no doubt about it he is the goat he is the greatest of all time he is the best he is the master 
And uh, there's no doubt in anyone's mind, Universe 7 seeing it, the rest of the, the universes who are encountering him are seeing it, and it's great. I mean, he even got Beerus' respect. Absolutely. I love it. So we, we loved seeing Roshi on there. What do you guys think about Roshi? You love him, right? I mean, this is the man. I mean, we we started this thing out with Roshi. You know, he was the guy. He was So uh, we love seeing him. We want to see your comments below. What do you think about him? What's your favorite things about Roshi? Was there some sort of... Uh, uh, favorite episode, you know, even Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z that you have with Roshi or Dragon Ball Super. Share those things. Leave your comments below. This is Vinny. And this is Joe. Until next time.